Hey, welcome to Dirt Road Believer. I'm Tina. Happy Thursday. We're close to heading into the weekend, so I hope you have some exciting weekend plans. You may be able to hear the rain in the background. Um, I figure this is perfect. I'm getting ready to film um, a devotion called Baptism 101, and I'm getting a little baptism myself here <laughs> with the rain. Um, I am enjoying this 101 series that we're doing, getting back to the basics of our faith and going back to the foundation. I think we we become so accustomed to this language that we use and um, and the, the things about our faith that sometimes they grow dull and it's good to get back just to the heart of of our faith and baptism is one of those things so I have a short clip that I want you to watch today and I'm like certain that I will get copyrighted on this um, and that's gonna be interesting because I have an original song <laughs> to um, share with you at the end of today's devotion but watch this clip and let's talk about it Delmark been saved well that's it boys I've been redeemed. The preacher done washed away all my sins and transgressions. It's a straight and narrow from here on out. And heaven everlasting is my reward. Delbert, what are you talking about? We got bigger fish to fry. The preacher said all my sins is washed away, including that Piggly Wiggly I knocked over in Yazoo. I thought you said you was innocent of those charges. Well, I was lying. And the preacher said that that sin's been washed away too. Neither God nor man's got nothing on me now. Come on in, boys. The water is fine. <sighs> <laughs> that is a very humorous scene, and my family and I enjoy that movie so much every time we see it. Oh, brother, where art thou? But Delbert had one thing mistaken. The preacher did not wash his sins away. Um, Jesus does that and and I'm sure there are instances where people have gotten saved as they were baptized but most often someone comes to salvation and then is baptized later so today I want to just look at the practice of baptism in our faith and really just get back to the basics of baptism um, it can often be misunderstood within the church and I think a lot of people think like Delbert you know you have to be baptized to be saved so we're going to talk about that just a little bit so baptism started with Jesus he instituted it into the church when he himself was baptized so first let's read that scripture we're gonna be in Matthew today and Matthew um, in chapter 3 starting in verse 13 this is where Jesus was baptized by his cousin John the Baptist then I'm grab my glasses then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him but John tried to stop him saying I need to be baptized by you and yet you come to me Jesus answered him, Allow it for now, because this is the way for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then John allowed him to be baptized. When Jesus was baptized, he went up immediately from the water. The heavens suddenly opened for him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending um, like a dove and coming down on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my Son with whom I am well pleased. Now, Jesus himself did not baptize anyone. Um, his disciples baptized, and um, we know that he was baptized by John the Baptist in the Jordan River, but Jesus did not baptize anyone. Then in Matthew 28, um, Jesus mandated the practice of baptism in the Great Commission. So let's read that. This is um, Matthew 28. We're going to start in verse 16. The eleven disciples traveled to Galilee to the mountain where Jesus had directed them. When, he saw, when they saw him, they worshipped, but some doubted. Jesus came near and said, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them 
in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe everything I've commanded you. And remember, I'm with you even to the end of the ages. So go and make disciples, baptizing them. Baptism is a visible expression of the gospel. It is an outward display of an inward happening called salvation, which is what we talked about on Tuesday. It's saying that I have been washed clean of my sins by the blood of Jesus and I have been made new. And remember what John the Baptist said. He said, I baptize with water, but Jesus will baptize with the Holy Spirit and fire. So even before Christ ascended and the Holy Spirit um, was sent in his place, he established the practice of baptism. Now, let's face it, okay? Anyone can hop into the water and get dunked under by someone. But if baptism is not um, out of sincere faith, then all you have is a wet center when they come up. But if you have ever witnessed a blood-bought baptism, wow, it is such a sight to behold. It is such a celebration. And let's keep in mind now, Del this is where I think Delbert was a little confused. Delbert thought that baptism was a means to salvation because remember when he was, when he was dunked under, his friend goes, Delbert's being saved. Salvation and baptism are two different things. Salvation is what happens on the inside when we come to Jesus. Baptism is an outward sign of our salvation. It is an expression of our salvation. So let's not be confused and think that um, baptism is a means to salvation. It is an expression of it, but it was done by Jesus and he, he does ask that we do the same. So there are lots of examples um, in scripture of a person who received salvation but were not baptized. We talked about one on Tuesday. Remember the sinner, uh, the criminal on the cross next to Jesus who came to salvation at the very end of his life? He did not have an opportunity to be baptized, yet Jesus said, Today you will be with me in paradise. And then... Um, my um just tell you my baptism story when i was when i came to jesus i was nine years old and my family had just gone to a new church and the whole family was baptized together it was beautiful and so when i think on my baptism i'm like oh my goodness i just i picture you know my family walking into the baptismal pool with me it was just mm, wonderful so my my favorite line from that movie that i showed you a clip of oh brother where art thou is come on in the water is fine <laughs> and so i've always loved that and i don't know this summer i was just kind of playing around with that lyric in a song and so the result is the song that you're going to hear today by the same title come on in the water is fine
Guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and a great weekend coming up. And until next week, slow down, take the dirt road, believer.